Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about hot peppers in your butthole. This is <laughs> this is a neon thing. I it's just thought it was totally funny. different. I'm like, what's trending today? What's everybody talking about? The world's hottest pepper, Pepper X. That's what your butthole looks after you eat it. It's three times spicier than its predecessor. Uh, why? That was Pepper so Y. It liquefies. No, that would be the one <laughs> it after. Liquefies, X, it, it liquefies your insides. It does. Like, that. this is. I, why would you eat this? This is all that's left of your stomach right there. That is it. That is a human. No, this is Pepper X. We're going to talk about it because everybody's talking about Pepper X. I I like spicy things, but I my God. Not. You do not. I you, used to, but I can't eat them now. You like it bland. I don't like it bland. I just don't like, you know. A little bit of spice. I don't. Okay. Yes. I like a little bit. Of, I love that thing cinnamon. I don't want anything burning out my intestines. Let's talk about let's talk about Pepper X and and, and the colon and, blow and colon blow. Do you remember that commercial on SNL? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the colon blow where the guy's like sitting on the mountain of Google that guys if you haven't seen it. It was an old commercial on Saturday Night Live, fake commercial for colon blow where the guy's like sitting on a mountain of it's like one bowl of colon blow is like like five hundred bowls of these other <laughs> cereals. Like, so we're gonna talk about Pepper X the spice in your butthole before we get into it any further please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys and this the reason we're talking about this is it's trending everybody's talking about this everybody wants to know how hot this I pepper is don't really care either way but i'm doing it because neon insisted so here we go yeah so oh my god ed curry founder of pucker butt pepper <laughs> company <laughs> in south butt. carolina I love it. Appeared, yeah, gonna, butt's going to pucker for sure. Appeared on the YouTube show Hot Ones to receive the oh. Guinness Award and announce the spicy new variety. I know what Hot Ones is. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, to measure the intensity of Pepper X, officials at Guinness turn, turn to what's known as the Scoville scale. Yes, the Scoville scale. Scale. Yes. Uh, developed in 1912. Scale determines the heat of a pepper by measuring the concentration of its heat well in chemical compounds. Yes. Yeah, so... Yeah, you talk like we watch Man vs. Food and we watch, and they all talk about the Scoville scale. Pepper X ma measures an average of 2.693 million Scoville heat unit units. A jalapeno is 2,000 to 8,000. Okay, so <laughs> let's put I that don't even do jalapeno. A jalapeno is 2,000 to 8,000. A serrano is 10,000 to 23,000. The Carolina Reaper it's is 1.64. So Almost twice as much. Well, not twice, more. About, about a million more. It's more like three times hotter than a Reaper, he said on the show. This is, can this kill somebody? I don't. Well, I was going to bring up a story about a, a ghost pepper eating out of the guy's insides. Oh, my God. So you can you can be injured by eating hot peppers. And I'll talk about my cousin getting injured eating a hot pepper. He describes a feeling as there's an intense burn that happens immediately. Then your head kind of feels like, oh, no, what's going on? And then your body just starts reacting. You get it in your arms. You get it in your chest. Holy shit. Sounds like a heart attack. It has no real throat burn like the reverb, but it comes on later when you're in pain. Then don't eat it. There's a reason. There's a reason that the peppers are hot. It's to keep people from eating the peppers. But we decided, damn it, we like it. We like to hurt. This guy's making these peppers deliberately to be... To kill you. Someone dies, is it, is it, is it like murder? I don't know. I, I mean, I know that there I, are... I, it isn't, I'm just being smart. ...are literal hot sauces that have warnings on them. It's not to be cheeky, it's not to be fun, it's not to be whatever. But, like, you may wind up in a world of hurt, and it's not our fault if so you put if this hot dumbass, sauce... If you're a it's not our fault. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, they said that uh, much of the pepper's heat... Is in the interior white placenta. I didn't that even holds know. The seeds. I didn't know that that's what they actually well, call the makes interior. Because it holds the seeds. Yes. So yeah, um, much like a human placenta holds the fruit of the Wait, humans. Okay, that's nasty. According to Guinness, Pepper X's exterior <laughs> bumpiness creates more space for placenta to grow. Oh God! Or I, like I had that problem too. I'm so fat. I, I created more space for. Things to grow. Anyway. So back in uh, 2018, apparently, is this the same one? This is 2016. No, there's, oh my God, there's multiple instances of people going yeah. to the ER. For me, this is ghost peppers. This is not even as bad as Pepper X. These are ghost peppers, which are still pretty, pretty bad. So back in 2016, a Bay Area man 
ate one of the world's hottest peppers. And he wound up in the hospital with a one inch oh hole God. in his esophagus. Oh my God. That nearly well, freaking killed him. To be fair, him. though, he ate a paste, which is even worse because, like, paste concentrates. So, like, if you're eating this, the ghost pepper, that's one thing, but this is a paste. So, it was highly concentrated and it ate a hole. Oh my God. So, the guy who owns Happy Quail Farms is an expert that they talked to. He's an expert. Oh, he, this isn't the guy who burned his throat out. Okay. No, he said almost everybody asked me, but I asked you, do you eat them? If you watch some idiot on YouTube die eating them, that's not my idea of fun. Doesn't keep others from trying. YouTube is full of videos. They were dunking on YouTube back in 2016. Full of uh, videos of people taking up the challenge that you one of the most frightening peppers. The and that was dead. Hot, the Reaper peppers. came out after this. They should just call it like Ass Blaster. That's well, it sounds like you didn't get, didn't get past his throat. 47 year old man who came to the emergency with severe abdominal chest pain following a violent retching and vomiting after eating ghost peppers as part of a contest. He ate a hamburger with ghost pepper puree and was so hot it burned a hole in his esophagus, which then collapsed. Collapsed one of his, one lungs. Of his lungs. Holy he shit! He spent 20 days in the hospital and went home with a tube down his stomach. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Now they're saying no Carolina Reaper. Now they're saying the Carolina Reaper is supposed to be 10 million units. Yeah, this was back in 2016. And it's 10 times hotter. Now the hottest one's called the Carolina Reaper. So they keep up in the ante on these hot peppers. No, so someone dies. Some and, people probably are dying. But. And then they do it for, for YouTube clout, right? Well, it's not, it doesn't help you if you're dead. It doesn't help oh, you yeah, if you're, you're dead. you're going to get a lot of views. This guy died. Watch his video. Watch his video. This guy literally died eating a hamburger, pepper. Oh, my God. I had to down about a carton of milk after she ate one ghost pepper. In fact, it broke my never drinking milk policy. Well, the 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 fact that it was a puree, it was it was a de- concentrated. But then if you look at the way, if you go back there for a second, this case report is published in the Journal of Emergency Medicine. What to They're do? They're using it. They're using it as a case study in medical journals. If some moron comes to you in the ER with a hole in his throat, first well, thing you ask him. It caused by a gerbil. You, his throat? <laughs> well, maybe it was, the first, it was the trying fir- to claw its way out. The first thing you ask is, did you eat Pepper X? The second thing you ask is, did you shove a gerbil up your ass? <laughs> no, you just say, are you dumb? Are so, you, that's what I, you should say. You go into the ER and somebody's got like a freaking whatever injury. I, I like you watch these doctor shows. These people have these ridiculous shoved up their ass. Ridiculous and... things happening to them, and you're like, "Are you just stupid? Are you just stupid? Do we just let Darwinism have its way with you?" Well, you know? something had its way. But anyway, what other? You said somebody. Okay, here's yeah, this is one. 2018. Super hot pepper sent a man to the ER. So this is in New York. This is in 2018. Okay, this so was uh, a Carolina Reaper. So they keep, you see what I'm saying? They keep up in the ante. Up in the ante. Okay, he was doing a residency at he was uh, doing... the Coopertown, New York, when an otherwise healthy 34 year old man came to the emergency room with a terrible headache. I had an incredible, uh, it, it, wait, it had come on incredibly like a thunderclap. Turns out the man had been in a pepper eating contest and eaten a whole Carolina Reaper, which is high on the list of hottest peppers in the world. Right away, <laughs> he developed one of these thunderclap headaches. Doctors usually use that term. And they said the man went home for a while, but then was seized by another headache, so painful it sent him to the ER. They ran a battery of medical tests and ultimately a brain scan called a, whatever, CT, it's CAT scan. Angiogram, and, yeah. Which showed uh, some narrowing of the blood vessels in the brain. Oh Even my. inducing chemical and peppers can trigger this kind of reaction. Oh, my God. So he was admitted to the hospital to treat his prolonged headache. Yeah, but at least he didn't have a hole in his brain. Well, that's because he didn't eat it like puree, you know, in a in a uh, paste form. Don't do that. Oh tomato God. paste is super concentrated tomato. What do you think pepper paste is? So yeah, they're like this person's like I've never heard of anybody being being uh, triggered triggered by a reaper. But I'm like this thing's like three times as hot according to the guy who made it. Um, so the, I have a I have a story. So I actually grew up eating peppers. He did. Uh, not these peppers. These peppers didn't exist when I was little. But we had we had jalapenos and we had uh, habaneros, and I used it. I literally because my stepdad he's from Mexico. He likes spe- spicy food a lot. So we you had, ate a lot of spicy food. I ate a lot of spicy food when I was a little kid. I ate a lot of spicy food. So I have a pretty I have a pretty high spice tolerance. I, I do not, but our children do. They do. They inherited my spicy genes. And um, Mama's Mama's the bland one. I think you're spicy. I, I love cinnamon fine. and I love like that kind of stuff. I actually don't like cinnamon very much. That's okay. I make up for the spice tolerance and the fact that I myself am spicy. 
That's so, true. There you go. I, good thing you have a high spice tolerance, or we wouldn't be here right now. That is true. See, there you go. I was my whole life. I was preparing for you. Yeah, you, yeah. You probably needed one of these other peppers. But anyway, continue. So anyway, I, I used to just. I mean, literally, I would just pluck a jalapeno out of the garden, and I'd eat it. You know, I would as a kid. Like I'm talking six, eight years old. Mm-hmm. I just you know chomp on a jalapeno. I was too, but I would eat strawberries and tomatoes and things like that. I mean, I wouldn't. Well, I eat those too, but a lot of times it should cool my mouth down. But I mean, I wouldn't eat like I knew how to eat them. You eat them a little bit at a time. You don't just pop the whole damn thing in your mouth and you mm-hmm. know bite. But anyway, so my cousin came over, and he was he was a year or two younger than I was, and uh, he saw me doing it. You know, I'd been I'd been a trained pepper eater. You know, and it didn't bother me very much. To me, it was just like eating freaking like a, you know, cucumber pickles or something. Mm -hmm. He comes up and he grabs one, shoves the whole damn thing in his mouth. Well, he didn't eat it the right way for one thing. Two, he didn't realize how hot they were, jalapeno. His mouth, I still remember it to this day. He had welts all around his mouth. I mean, huge, his lips ballooned up and he looked... He looked awful. He looked like he was like a freaking cartoon. He had massive in the welts and we had to put, he was screaming, screaming. I mean, we're talking screaming for like two hours. But how he was old pain. was he? He was like four or five. Well, I mean, come... <laughs> okay. So that pussy. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually felt really bad because I got in big ass trouble. I got in big because his but mom. You didn't tell him to eat it. No, I didn't tell him. He just saw me eating it because I'm like, oh, let's go up to the garden. Okay. We're looking around the garden. And he just like, he saw me eat one and he grabbed it and ate it. And I was like, no, dumbass. Well, I didn't think much of it because I was like, you know, I, I was used to eating him. So he had welts all over his face. So we had to go back to the house and my grandmother actually made up like baking soda and water paste mm-hmm. and put on his face. So then he had this goop on his face and he was still screaming. And then his mom came and I got read the riot act. I was like, what did you do to my yeah, kid? Yeah, because it was your fault that you're- This is my it's fault. It's my fault your kid- that, you know, wouldn't grab the it. It's like, I'm sorry. I mean, I'd be mad more at the people that are watching you because they did. Well, they're like, why, why are you letting the kids up in the garden by themselves? Because we, we had hot peppers. Well, in the back garden. then, kids just ran around we the yard ran, all day. I literally, like, I would, and I keep telling people this, you know, but they're like, yeah, it's a very different time. Like, all you millennials and your Gen Zers don't understand. Like, we would leave the house. And you think that all the people are making this up. No, this is actually the truth. We would leave the house in the morning and we would not come back until after dinner. No, I wasn't allowed to do that because we lived in the country, but we had to stay in the yard. But we had like acres of land and we'd be in the woods or we used to ride our bikes and we'd go out to like, there was an airport a couple, like it's a local one, a couple miles away and we'd ride there and back and everything else. <laughs> ride you down know? the tarmac. But we, would, we, weren't allowed, we weren't allowed sometimes. We weren't allowed to... Uh, to go too far. We usually weren't allowed to leave the yard, but uh that was mostly after the Walsh incident, but Oh yeah. Because the, the kid got kidnapped yeah, and killed. But yeah. uh people used to do all the time. Like they go I know when I was at school, like a couple of kids lived over the hill from each other and they just go through the woods over the hill and go hang out all day and there was like a little village one on one side and one on the other and it would be like a mile or two away and they just walk there and hang out. We used to I, I used to live pretty close to a mall growing up and I literally would ride my bike. You did live right by the mall. To the it was mall. Close. I'd ride my bike to the mall and I actually had to ride alongside a pretty busy highway. It was a busy highway. And anybody could have just like picked me up and threw me in the back of a van. You told me you used to ride it to the mall. I was like, wait, what? I used to coast down the hill. It was like well, downhill. I know, but cause it was, it, was a, it was a big hill. I mean, you'd have to ride uphill the whole way back. But you yeah, that was very hill. unpleasant. But, Let me um, tell you, that was... I would walk Coming the bike up there. would be a heck of a lot harder than going there. But this this is a very busy road. When yes. you told me that, I was like, wait, you were on the well, road it, with your bike? It wasn't that bit, But, like, they just, like, let me just kind of just go. I would just go. I'd go out. I'd play in the you creek. You had way more freedom than I did. I can tell you oh, that much. Oh, I had, like, I was, you talk about, like, you hear about these parents talking about free-range kids. I was absolutely a free-range kid. Like, if I wasn't so OCD, I, I probably would have gotten into a lot more trouble. But, but I like, I used to go down to like the Creek and stuff and I would bring turtles home and all this crazy stuff. I used stuff. to get, pick up like frogs or like worms and stuff Oh yeah. Like I that. had toad. I did toad. I always did toads. I put mm-hmm. toads in the Why am I talking about toads? Anyway, the long and short of it is nobody was paying attention because it was the 1980s and he ate a pepper. He burned his mouth. It never happened again. So why are we talking about this? 
Because it just I started to go because uh, no, I'm old. I mean this pepper. This is not normal pop culture content. It isn't, but okay, it's, gonna, I mean, oh, social media. They're oh, talking oh, about. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah, they're all talking about the social media. Okay, yeah. Got plus, it. it's a YouTube thing. What is that dog looks like a pepper? Oh no, he doesn't. Okay, never mind. It's his ears. Uh, no, but it was on. It was a YouTube thing, and they're all talking about it now. Um, and yeah, it was on Hot Ones. I wouldn't recommend eating this. I do not eat it. Do, do not, not make a it. paste. Do not make a paste out of it. Uh, that. <laughs> I just, I just don't get it. I don't understand it. Those are not his hands. Are those his hands? Those hands are too tiny to be his hands. Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't understand it. I, I don't get it. If you wanted that, that's fine. I like spice, but I like, I also like my esophagus intact. And uh, yeah. So are we going to wrap this up? Yeah. Could have wrapped it up a long time. We could have, but yeah, I started to talk about the 1980s and I go wistful. Except, you know, the part where my, my cousin had his mouth burned. That was... <laughs> I'm sure he's probably got a totally different version of it. Like, no, you help me down, put that damn pepper in my mouth. I'm like, I don't think that's what happened. But is that what he says? No, I don't know. I, from what I heard, it was he I, I remember it pretty well because I got and and I don't think he said that you you made it. Oh, because after they left, I got my ass beat. I yeah, like, back then we used to get beat with a spoon, a wooden spoon. I did. I used to get the belt, but mostly it was just my belt. dad like snap, 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 snap. No, I yeah. got, yeah, that was a threat. No, I it literally, was a threat. I, so my grandparents really got actually hit, but sometimes yeah, I did. My grandparents, my grandparents, uh, you know, did a lot of raising of me and, uh, yeah, I, I got the wooden spoon often. Yeah. I found, when you, <laughs> I found when I was a kid, if you just bent over and took it, you got, don't, don't be good. And then anyway, if you bent over and just took the, the, the licking, then, um, you would, you would get hit a lot less hard. Oh. <laughs> I, know. I don't know. Some people. They would hit it harder. <laughs> I'm just saying, they come in and lick it. If you would bend over <laughs> and just take it, you would get it a lot less hard than if you, <laughs> if you fought back. Look, I'm just saying, <laughs> we've been married for a long time. <laughs> we've been married for a long time. And, you know, sometimes... My, my my brother and sister would like my mom would hold one by their shirt and they'd spin in circles trying to get away or they wouldn't listen. They'd be bent over. They would be like, no. That's like the so dog. The dog like it. tries to get away from me. And it's like, no, you're on a leash. They would dumbass. get hit harder because they didn't. They didn't. I mean, my, sometimes it was just barely a barely a little like because I listened and they they wouldn't listen and they whack. You know. See, that's why I try now not. I just ask for it harder. You know. Sorry. Yeah, sometimes I grab her shirt and she tries to get away from me. <laughs> That's why I gave her a real good licking. You, you earned it. I'm sorry. They used to call it, <laughs> to call it a licking. It's spanky. We call, around here where I was from, they called it a licking. They used to, <laughs> no, they used to actually like, like my grandfather told me, like back in the old timey wimey days, back in the, you know, when everything was in black and white. They used to be, you know, for real, like the world was actually yeah. black and white. Did you know that? It was in black and white. No. It wasn't colorized until uh, later. <laughs> it wasn't colorized <laughs> until later, until the 60s. But everything was kind of fuzzy back then. Um, no, but like he was telling me that that uh, that they used to say like, hey, I'm going to lick your ass. And that meant I was going to kick yeah, your so ass. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to get, it's a spanking. Can you imagine if you walked up to somebody today? <laughs> Depending where you're at, they'd be like, okay. <laughs> It's like, what did you call me? We well, call sir. We well, sir, I'm lickings. gonna lick your ass. <laughs> yeah, that's where I came from because it was a licking instead of a spanking, you know, or an ass whooping. It was just a, a licking, is what they called it. And so you, you're gonna get a licking if you're not good. My, my, <laughs> <laughs> good sir, I'm gonna lick your ass. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what's what. Just saying, it means it means something a little bit different now. Some people probably take you up on the offer. I mean, if you're in like certain areas, I'm sure. I'm sure. Um. <laughs> anyway, anyway, this is this episode. What is this episode? So we said we were going to talk about your butthole in relation to this hot pepper, and we wound up talking about buttholes anyway. <laughs> That's what happened. It wasn't a butthole. It's just your butt. You know, lick it. So there's a hot pepper out there. It'll probably burn you a new asshole. <laughs> But see, if I just said that, that would be a short. And you can't monetize it as effectively as a freaking 12-minute long video. Is it, I don't know. It's probably longer than that at this point. Anyway, I don't know. 
I don't know. We're going to wrap this up. Yeah. I'm not going to eat this thing. Do like not. and subscribe and leave a comment below. Would you eat the world's hottest pepper? Would you like a new asshole? <laughs> Would you like to have a, a hole in your damn throat? Do you like to get your ass licked? Do you want to lick in? Let us know in the comments and buy our merchandise. Oh my God. I call a peak. I can pee. Did it burn? Oh my God. There's a ointment for that. Oh, see, I could have segued into a sponsorship. I could have been like... Oh, my God. <laughs> like one of those, like, dodgy vitamin commercials, like everybody I does. I changed my pants. <laughs> it wasn't that funny. I can't breathe. It really wasn't that funny. I'm not that funny. Are you drunk? Are you drunk? You're not drunk. Can you wrap it up, please? I'm not funny. Yeah, let's let's wrap this up. Uh, please subscribe for more <laughs> pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later.